we get a lot of questions in on diatom algae. Diatom algae looks like a fine dusting of chocolate powder on the surface of the sand or rocks. It's quite common in new setups because new sand and new rocks often contain traces of silicates. Once the algae has used up all the silicates that's easily available, it will die off of its own accord. Um, it's important at the start and, and ongoing as well to disturb your sand bed regularly. This will ensure that all of the silicates in the deeper layers of the sand bed are brought to the surface and all the silicates can be burnt out as quickly as possible. It's rare to see silicates becoming a long term problem unless you've used cheap white sand which has often got silicates in it or even made entirely of silicates or if you're using water of RO top up water or salt water made with RO top up water of very low quality which is containing silicates within the water. Disturbing the sand bed quite often will bring the sand silicates to the surface and help burn them out quickly. As we're using a lot of phosphate remover, which as well as removing phosphate, we'll also remove a little bit of silicates from the system and that will help speed up the process and shorten the amount of times that the diatoms are visible.